What's up YouTube? Now this video is going to be a little different. Um, we're going to use Google Earth for this. And why you say? Well, there's this thing called a flight simulator and I've never seen anyone actually doing a flight, an entire flight cycle, so that's what I'm going to do now. You might be wondering why I have so many markers in my map. Those are aids for my um, flight simulator. And um, basically what they do is, well, guide me around in a flight. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm from Mexico City, you probably know this. And in Mexico, well, we really get along with our, with our lovely neighbors in the south, Guatemala. And that's the flight work that we're gonna do from Mexico City to Guatemala. All we have to do now is position ourselves at the end of the landing track, um, at the end of the runway in Mexico City. There we go. And get us oriented in such a way that we will actually depart aligned into the runway. The flaps need to be uh, at full in order to properly take off. And it takes off at about 250 knots. As much as I'd like to put it in, put it in kilometers per hour, but unfortunately that can't happen. Now that we're off the ground, we can disactiv disengage the landing gear and slowly pull out the pull in the flaps. Now, because the flight would be 30 minutes long, I'm gonna speed it up five times so that you don't have to endure 30 minutes of slow flying. It's a little boring after a while, so let's take it a little bit faster. Now that's this little quirk with Google Earth Fly Simulator that a greater altitude means lower speed, contrary to what actual planes tend to do. And that is the city of Tlaxcala. One that you should definitely visit if you come to Mexico. And that mountain you see over there is called La Malinche. By taking a, a dive right down, we can increase our speed dramatically from 800 to 1000 knots. That's 1800 kilometers per hour. Of course, the the lower the lower we go, as long as we don't actually touch the ground with without our landing gear, we would be reaching speeds up to 2,000 kilometers per hour, about 1,150 knots, at some point in the journey. And of course, I fly low down for the reason that I just mentioned. And that includes going around mountains rather than above them. As you may know, Mexico is quite mountainous. It has tons and tons of mountains. And some areas that are flat. If you look at the latitude indicator, you will 
see that as soon as we reach like 15 degrees 38 we will be crossing the Guatemala Mexico border as well that is assuming we perfectly follow the the pink line which we're not perfectly doing because we want to do uh, going around mountains instead of above them We are approaching another mountain range. And the same that we did before. We're going to fly all the way to it as low as possible. And be careful not to crash. Five degrees up so we can pass over it. Once again, once the mountains are over, for now, we go down in altitude again. Another mountain we need to go over. And this mountain, we are going to go around it. And let's go back to that pink line, so that we don't get lost. There is a passageway in between the mountains that would make us not have to go ab above those mountains. So we can go in between two. The passage is a little hard to find, but I think I got it. And it is just beyond this mountain. Here it is. And now we are in between the two mountains. And that's it. We passed right through. And once again, go around this mountain range. And once again, this is territory of Guatemala. We're going off with that thinner line because that's the one that will actually take us to the city of Guatemala and because we're already approaching, we have to slow down. 
it slows down a lot using the landing gear for some reason and we start to deploy the flaps to help us do an even slower approach and since we're already approaching we're going to put it on its normal speed now of course a normal plane would pass above those buildings but we sort of can't too easily and we don't have so much of a problem if we do pass through them there's the airport and there's the runway if I can just go below 200 knots I already did and land slightly nose up like 5 degrees there we go we've landed we're done Here we are. And well, that's the video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next time.